Hello everyone, this is Alicia Romero, once again bringing you your Stats to 50 Friday focus for the week of April 3rd to April 10th. Let's take a deep breath. We've made it through our first not so smooth online exam. We thank you for your patience and understanding with navigating online learning. The instructional team will now be turning to reviewing your exam answers and we should have an update about the exam scores early next week. If you are in Ann Arbor, we have been lucky enough to start getting some beautiful spring days. Please do try to get outside if you can, take in some fresh air and sunshine. We know that it has been an unusual time, so let's reflect on this past week and think of something that occurred this past week that has brought us joy. I had a very rough week. My house got flooded, but now my family and I are in a safe home once again. Something that has brought joy for me is that we recently acquired a puppy, Coco. This is Coco right here. And he has been a great companion for my kids now that we're all home. But one thing that happened this week is we finally had a full week of no indoor accidents right coco so i do hope he keeps it up right hopefully he's learned by now i welcome you all to share your joyful moments with all of us by answering question one on homework number nine we truly do look forward to reading your responses my hope is that for many of you by now there is more order and stability than in the first rush to online operations. I commend every one of you for your efforts under such exceptional circumstances. So let's look at some adjustments that we felt were necessary as we transition into the Virtual Stats 250 experience. One of the things we did was to skip the material on chapter number 10. That implied we had no ANOVA pre-lab no ANOVA lab, and no ANOVA homework. A total of 10 homework assignments now compared to the 11 we originally planned. And we also made adjustments to our homework policy. Out of 10 homework assignments, we dropped three compared to before, only two. So that should give you a little boost. Looking ahead, the semester is coming to a wrap relatively quick. We only have two more weeks of new statistical topics. This coming up week, we'll be covering correlation and regression. And then the week after that will be our last topic, which is your chi-square analysis. That implies we have two more pre-labs, one that is due this coming up Monday on April 6th, and the other one, the last pre-lab, is the creative pre-lab. So we welcome you to bring out your creative side and tell us what you've learned um, this semester about statistics. We do have two more homework assignments and two more wrap-up quizzes. So things are moving relatively fast now. What are we gonna be doing this week? Let's go back to that virtual rhythm we used to have before exam week. This week, the focus of lectures will be regression analysis which is understanding the relationship between two quantitative variables. We've briefly introduced this idea back in chapter number one when we looked at a scatter plot, and again in pre-lab number four, looking at two quantitative variables and visualizing the relationship between these two quantitative variables. If we do see a linear association, then we go ahead and proceed by finding a model, fitting a model to this data, finding an equation of a line to summarize this relationship. We're gonna use this model to make predictions. And we're also going to be assessing, testing whether we have a significant relationship between these two variables. And the other thing we get to do in terms of inference is we get to construct confidence intervals for our estimations and for our predictions. We do have the pre-recorded lectures. 
that are available through either the lecture recording site or the media gallery site. Lecture recordings for this chapter are broken up into three parts. We welcome you to take some time early in the week to watch these recordings and fill out your lecture notes so that once you've completed that, you can go ahead and start working on the lab. Lab this week, once again, available through two options, the pre-recorded video and also the option of attending a live stream lab, either on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Lab this week is a combination of Lab 11 and Lab 12 of your lab workbook. Both of these labs do talk about regression, so we felt it was natural to combine these two labs into one. Because we combined these labs, we do not have time for a ticket, so you do not have a ticket for this lab. However, we do see lots of value in a ticket because it helps you reinforce your understanding of the material. So we did put together a ticket and we'll be releasing the solutions for this lab. Your lab wrap-up quiz will then only cover questions that come directly from the lab 11 and lab 12 of your lab workbook and not the lab ticket. Now let's talk a little bit more about these lab wrap-up quizzes. We do recommend that you please complete these soon after you've completed the lab. And we want to remind you how we use these wrap-up quizzes in Virtual Stats 250. You do have three attempts to successfully complete a quiz. Now, once you've successfully completed these wrap-up quizzes, we take that score and give you credit for the corresponding lab. So you get your one point for lab attendance, your two points for your lab eye clickers, and your two points for your lab ticket. Please note that these quiz scores have no weight in your overall grade for the class. They're simply a way for us to give you credit for the corresponding labs. We do miss seeing you in, in the classroom, so please do continue to attend the many office hours. And if you haven't done so, try attending optional lab check-ins with your lab instructor. I'm sure they'll be very happy to see you. Here are the important dates for this week. Again, our second to last assignments. We have a pre-lab due on Monday, April 6th, before 8 a.m. And then on Friday, we have two items due by 8 in the morning, your lab wrap-up quiz and your homework number nine. And I do look forward to seeing those responses about what has brought you joy these past weeks. Thank you for watching your Stats to 50 Friday Focus.